share with you about Jesus Christ, that Christ came to be your Savior, they scourged Him, they whipped Him, they mocked Him, they humiliated Him. But why did He get humiliated? Why did He get mocked? Why did they laugh at Him? That's Kieran, doing the good work. Keep it up, brother. to do one thing and be a ransom for many. To be a ransom. There, he was in the courtyard. There, they laughed at him. There, they mocked him. There, they humiliated him. Why? He was taking the mocking for you. He was taking the humiliation for you. He was being laughed at for you. He was being mocked for you. That's why he died on that cross. That's why he gave his life. That's why he shed his blood on that cross. He gave his life for you on that cross. He died for you on that cross that you can be reconciled. If you die tonight, where will you go? If you die tonight, where will you go? We go to heaven or to hell. He took your hell for you on the cross. He took your blow for you on the cross. He took your blow. God bless you, sir. He took your blow. He took your blow. He, took your blow. he died in your place. He shed his blood for you on that cross. He was the Son of God. It says in the Bible, the love of Christ constrains us. The love of Christ, the love that he showed, the love when he was beaten and mocked and humiliated, the love that he showed you as he went through that humiliation and mocking, he was going there for you. How much that he loved you, how much that he cared for you. Do you have a question? He cared so much for you that he went to that cross and died on that cross for you to bring you home and to save you. To bring you home and to save you. There is a heaven and a home to go to. If you die tonight, where will you go? You can go to heaven on the ticket of Jesus Christ. And it's free to buy a lottery ticket, you pay money. To get your palm read by a clairvoyant, you pay money. But to know Jesus and to know his love is free. To know his love is free. It's free to know his love. It's free to know his grace. It's free to know his grace. There is a God that you can know today. And it's free. And he took your blows. He took your blows. He took the blows that you deserve. They whipped him. They mocked him. They humiliated him. And blow upon blow upon blow. He took the blow for you. And died for you on that cross. Oh, the deep, deep love of Jesus, vast and measured, boundless, free, rolling as a mighty ocean in his fullness over me. The mighty love of God, the mighty love of God, that he would stay there and be whipped and mocked and humiliated for you. And there he was broken, there he was humiliated, there he was crushed, but he stayed there and he stayed there for you. He stayed there, laughed at. He stayed there mocked, he stayed there whipped, and he stayed there for you to bring you home to heaven, out of the drugs, out of the wacky backy, out of the alcohol, out of the sleeping around, out of the materialism. He stayed there for you. Oh, the deep, deep love of Jesus, vast unmeasured, boundless free, rolling as a mighty ocean in its fullness over me. Love so deep, love so vast, love so great, love so mighty, mightier than drugs, mightier than drink, mightier than wacky wacky, mighty Christ, Hi, Madam, you mighty Lord, to, today? to save you and to bring you home. His name is Jesus. When I survey the wondrous cross on which the Prince of Glory died, Oh, the Prince of Glory, he who created the universe. There he hung on that cross with a crown of thorns. He died as a drug dealer, but he dealt in no drugs. He died as a thief, but he thieved from nobody. He died as an adulterer, but he done no sexual sin. He died as a materialist. He died as an atheist. He died for all the atheists. He died for all the drug addicts. The all the prostitutes. He died for your sin. He became sin who knew no sin. He became sin who knew no sin. He knew no sin. He was pure. He was pure. He was so pure, so holy, 
It was called the lamb, the lamb, the lamb, the lamb that was shed, the perfect lamb that was given for you, the lamb that died for you, the lamb that was broken for you. Even John the Baptist said, Behold the lamb of God. Behold him. Before you were born, he knew you. Before you were born, he knew your name. Before you were born, he knew your name. And he decided to come and die in your place. But you've got to believe in him. You've got to turn to him and turn to him and hate sin. You've got to hate the lies, hate the sleeping around, hate the drugs, hate the materialism, and flee from it. Turn away from it. And turn to Jesus. Turn to him. You can study philosophy and get a PhD in philosophy. I'm having a quiet day today. Quiet day. I'll be back there next week. Yeah? Right, get, send, send my mum to a lawyer. All right, mate. The love of God. The love of God. Oh, you can have a PhD in philosophy. You can know all the science. You can have all the money. You can have all the women. But when you die, the women ain't going to help you. The money ain't going to help you. The PhD in philosophy ain't going to help you. That is going to help you. The cross is going to help you. Christ died in your place. Christ took your punishment. Christ took your judgment. That is going to help you. He who died on the cross, that is going to help you. Christ who died on that cross. Wacky Bucky ain't going to help you. Smoking all day, every week ain't going to help you. Having sex every week ain't going to help you. Taking the drugs ain't going to help you. The materialism ain't going to help you. But the cross is going to help you. The cross, because he died in your place. Why did he die? He died to redeem you. He died to pay you back. He died to bring you home. I know one thing about you. One thing I know about you. I know that you're going to die one day. But when you die, you need to know where you're going to go. Jesus says, I am the resurrection and the life. He has power over death. He has power over death. And he has power to change your life. He has power to make it all new. Don't believe the negativity, the negativity that people put in your mind. Don't believe the world system. The system of the world pumps its idolatry into your mind. It tells you, have a big house, have a nice car, get Botox and get your cheeks done and your lips done. And, and, and try to look better. There's a guy who spent loads of money trying to look like David Beckham. He's had Botox in his lips and Botox in his head. And he looks nothing like David Beckham. And yet he wants to look like David Beckham. You don't need Botox. You need the blood of Jesus. That's what you need to do. The blood. The blood was shed. Why was it shed? I tell you why it was shed. It was shed that you might be saved. That's why it was shed. And without that blood, there is no future. Without that blood, there is no hope. I cannot stand on atheism. I, let's say I give up the Bible and I stand on atheism. What do I stand on? Life's a bitch and then you die. That's what I stand on. That's what I stand on. And I'm not standing on atheism, I'm sorry. But that ain't atheism for me. Because it ain't like that. It ain't like that. No, I stand on Jesus who said, I am the resurrection and life. Let's test atheism with Jesus. Jesus never lied, never did anything wrong. Let's get the best atheist, Bertrand Russell. He was the greatest atheist of the 20th century. He had a wife. He had a wife and he had a, a mistress on the side. He had sex with her up a tree. That was Bertrand Russell. I'll have Jesus. Thank you. I'll have Jesus. Jesus is greater. Jesus is greater than Bertrand Russell. Jesus is greater because he is the Savior his life and shed his blood for you on that cross. That's the way home, to the cross. That's the way home, to the cross. And if you come to the cross, you can be a new person, new hope, new vision, new future, a new purpose, all in Jesus.
have faith in Him and trust in Him. And then you're going home to heaven and you have a, a future here, a purpose here. You know who you are. You're a child of God, saved. But if you don't know whether you're a child of God, you don't know where you're going. You don't know where you are going. Where are you going today? What are you aiming at? What's your future going to be? I tell you, your future is in the hands of God. And if He wants you to come home tonight and take you home, He can do that. But if He leads you on this earth, He's giving you time to repent, time to have, turn to Him, time to trust Him, time to look to Him. Now is the time, my friends. Now is the time to come to Him. Now is the time to trust Him. Now is the time to believe in Him. Now is the time to put your faith in Him. Now is the time. You might not get another day. You might not get another week. Now is the time. Come to Jesus. Come to Him and know His love. Come to know Him and know His grace. Know His joy. Know His peace. Know His love today. Know Him as your Savior and Lord today. While you can, know Him. He invites you. Come. If you've got no money, come. Come. You said, Jay, I failed. You failed. Surely He doesn't want me. Surely, sure, surely He doesn't care about me. He says to you, this is what God says to you. God says this to you. God. Jesus said, come to me, all you who are weak and heavy laden. All you who are weak and heavy laden. All you who are weak and heavy laden. If you're heavy laden, burden, trouble, if you're struggling, come to him. Come to him. Come to him with your burden. Come to him with your problems. Come to him with your needs. Come to him. Come to Jesus. Come to him with your problems. Come to him with your burdens. Come to Jesus. Have faith in him. And he'll not let you down. He'll not let you down, my friend. Come. If you're worried about money, worried about your health, worried about your job, worried about your pension, worried about the nation, worried about your job, worried about calling it down. Come to Jesus and he'll help you. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. You don't want to walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I fear no evil. He'll look after you. He'll take care of you. Trust him today. Have faith. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Trust him as your Lord and Savior. Trust him as your Lord and Savior. Trust him as your Lord and Savior. All the love of God come to his love. Embrace his love today. Embrace his mercy. Embrace his kindness. Embrace his tenderness. Embrace him today. Embrace the Savior today. Embrace him. He waits for you to come. He waits for you to cry out to him. He waits for you to come to him. And say, Lord, I need you. Lord, have mercy upon Come to him. Don't be proud. Pride will be no good in hell. All your pride will not help you. Don't be proud. Don't be proud because you think you're clever. Don't be proud because you think you're somebody. Because when you go to hell, you'll be a nobody. So pride is no good. Pride will not do you any good in hell. So don't be proud. Don't think you're something because you're proud. Don't think you're something. Always remember this. Humble yourself. Humble yourself. And if you humble yourself, you come and know God. You come and He'll come to you. He comes to the humble and the meek. He comes to the humble and the weak. Amen. When you're weak, then you're strong. When you're weak, He will give you strength. When you're weak, He will give you power. When you're weak, He will give you hope. When you're weak, He will make you strong. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. 
Ye though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. Oh, come to him today. Embrace him. What love, what love that there it would be in the courtyard. And they whipped him. They broke his back. They whipped him and whipped him. And the, the bones and the metal ripped open his back. And there, as he's being whipped on his back, and whipped and whipped, he's being whipped on your behalf. And then they put a crown of thorns on his head. And then they put a, a robe over him. And then they smacked him in the face. And as they smacked him in the face, he was standing there for you. He was standing there for you. He was standing there, taking the blows. He was a sheep led to the slaughter, says Isaiah. And he was led like a lamb to the slaughter. And there in his perfection and holiness and purity, the Son of God came, and there they hung him. And when that blood came down, it was divine blood. It was divine blood that came down for you. Do you want to have sex before marriage? Do you want to take drugs? Do you want to go for materialism and money? Or do you want to go for the beautiful Savior that died on that cross for you? The beautiful Savior that gave his life for you. Have faith in him and trust in him as your Lord and Savior today. Find peace and joy and the love of God in your life. While you can today, there might be bombs going off next year. There might be bombs going off this year. God forbid. God forbid. I hope they don't. What will you do when the nation's in turmoil? When the nations are in turmoil? How will you stand? I can stand. I can stand against ISIS. I can stand against terrorism. Because I stand on Christ. I stand on the rock of Christ. I stand on the cross of Jesus. And no ISIS, no terrorism will destroy the kingdom of Christ. For he is the everlasting king, the king of kings and lord of lords. And I stand on him. And his kingdom is forever. And the kingdom of darkness will come to an end when Christ comes back. God bless you.